Nearly 120 million adults have high blood pressure in the United States, according to the CDC. And it can put you at a risk for heart disease, stroke, and other significant health issues. But a person with high blood pressure often has no symptoms. That's why getting it measured is important. But a new study suggests many may not be getting it, uh, accurate readings. So in today's Health Minute, Mandy Gaither explains how to properly be positioned when measuring your blood pressure. At a doctor's appointment, it's one of the first things you have done. Knowing your blood pressure is a critical part of health, but researchers say some readings may not be right. In order to diagnose hypertension, the first step is getting an accurate blood pressure measurement. Inaccurate measurements, whether in the clinic or in the home, can lead to misdiagnosis or either over or under treatment. Dr. Tammy Brady with the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine is senior author of a study which finds that having your arm in the wrong position during blood pressure checks, whether at home or in the doctor's office, can result in significantly higher readings. It's not just putting on a cuff and putting, pushing a button. To get the most accurate readings, Brady says your arm should not be on your lap. It should also not be dangling unsupported at your side. Instead, it should be resting like this at chest height. Before the blood pressure is checked, she says to empty your bladder. Avoid exercise, tobacco, nicotine, and alcohol for at least 30 minutes beforehand. Sit with your back supported, feet on the floor, and be free of distractions so that you can relax. And then ideally you would take two to three measurements, 30 to 60 seconds apart and take the average of those measurements. And that part's important because everyone's blood pressure varies minute to minute, beat to beat. And in order to get closer to the truth, you want an average of those measurements. Dr. Brady says other studies have shown that proper positioning steps aren't adhered to at many doctor's offices. So it's important for patients to advocate for themselves. She says she hopes her study raises awareness for those in need of training and certification and recertification of blood pressure measurement practices.